Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number seven. Um, the war is finally starting to come to a conclusion. We we have a feeling, at least. Um, I'll probably be skipping a few of the battles in this episode, because to me, the most exciting thing will be to get to the next tier of technology. I feel like we've kind of already tested ourselves against the French, the various ships we've built. Um, we have a good idea of how things are performing. Our battleships are performing very well. Armored cruisers um so so we haven't gotten a great chance to see their capabilities one-on-one -on -one because most of the times they've been outnumbered but I, I wouldn't say that they performed better than i expected maybe slightly worse our light cruisers have performed significantly worse than i expected um, that's the biggest disappointment for me so far and we built so many of these expecting them to last for so long so it might just be um i don't know actually uh, they have the right crew training and everything, so I really can't say. But we're going to stick with them because uh, this is the, what I had originally planned. This is all part of the bigger strategy. Um, destroyers, okay, well, they haven't stuck around long enough in the battles to really to get a good idea of how they're performing, but I don't think destroyers are very useful at this uh, stage in the game anyway. So... Uh, let's see, I wanted to do one thing with Southeast Asia. I'm going to get the Archer to start raiding there. The rest of the ships hopefully will just keep trying to stop the French ships, which are raiding there. We've now taken um, Algiers. And we have a... You, you have to guess that we... Oh yeah, we've already taken, that's right, Guangzhou Wan, but they're still fighting, so we have to keep pushing. And then if the French, you know, collapse eventually... That'll give us a lot more holdings. And we are blockading them. We've been blockading them for a good long time. So you we suspect we suspect that the end is nigh for the for the French. Okay, speaking of which. But they're still doing some damage to us. Okay, well battle on four to, those kind of battles are gonna be important. This is the kind of battle which we probably could decline, but since they only have two AMC, I guess we'll accept they declined. Ooh, a fleet battle. Well, what a treat. Oh, that means the weather's poor. The weather is calm wind, so the wind doesn't matter. Good to know. Let's check the time. It is about midday, so we have plenty of time to battle before uh, things come to an end. Visibility is not poor. We're just starting far enough. Uh, we're close enough that our armies are detecting each other immediately, but... Okay, so this is going to be a fun one. Let us make sure we're on rear admiral's mode, which I knew we would because we were because we haven't changed it. We've been that way for a while. Who? How do we want to arrange this? I think for this... For the start, at least, I'm going to only take control of the ship. Wow, we're, we're basically at port as well, which is kind of another advantage for us if we have ships which are heavily damaged, which will sink over you know the period of a long time. We can always send them back to port. So let's see. The ships I want to control are the Inherent Resolve Squadron, which looks like just the Inherent Resolve. I'm going to have you go to support line ahead, but you're going to stay out in front for a while anyway. Even though it's calm, it's not dead calm, so there's a very, very, very slight breeze. We do have mines in the area, but I think we just charge right at the French fleet because, as I already mentioned, our battleships appear to be superior. So, put this one on screen. No, support. Yeah, I think it's okay. The Inherent Resolve is going to be supporting number two. It's the Valiant. Is Valiant number two in line? It is. So Inherent Resolve is technically going to be supporting the Valiant because I don't want, you can't have too many um, divisions supporting one other division. I, I'm not sure, and the limit might be two. So we see here this one's supporting the Valiant and that's because the first one's already supporting Swirling Tides. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay, then let's get this group to go line ahead, that's fine. And oh. We have the Rosie as well, who, who is the lone cruiser, which um, armored cruiser, which we would say has performed rather well. We will also get them to, you know what? We'll get them to be screen, I guess. <laughs> Line ahead doesn't matter because they're the, the lone member of their division. But let's do something like this. 
Everyone, we're all going 15, huh? This is strange. Well, not everyone. All right, well, let's just identify what we're up against here. Make sure I got the window correct. Get all our statistics, our overlays added on. And here we go. I'll probably take this one a bit slower as well because um, this is going to be a fun battle, I think. I'm really looking forward to this one. I just hope that things don't happen in such a way where the battle is like just nothing ends up happening. <laughs> if they escape our, if they escape and we can't find them after this, that would be bad. Okay, but no, this is, they appear to be reforming. Here's their armored cruiser. We'll probably get the Rosie to actually speed up. She's not as important towards the middle of the fight, uh, the middle and the end, she won't be as important. So we need her speed in the very beginning. Okay, we have a True Day class, Sfax class. Just to remind ourselves what these have. Pretty good ships. I mean, that is one thing to say. The French do have comparable ships with us. I think they have only a five-sided broadside, whereas we have a six-sided broadside, but we still have been coming out second best in a lot of the light cruiser engagements. Um, now I just want to follow you. And our Rosie will begin scouting. This is probably their main fleet. It's going pretty slow. Yeah, I see two of them. But what are they doing? Is it just a? Is that just their armored cruisers? When they say fleet engagement, please don't tell me we're we're up against like two armored cruisers and that's it. <laughs> okay, let's steady as she goes. Sixteen, holding that. That's fine. Let's get you guys up to 18 so we can investigate a little more thoroughly. But I think these are AMCs. Yeah, this is weird. All right, well, let's go up to 18. I think that's almost max speed, so, okay, 17. Even at 17, we should eventually catch these. And if they do have um, battleships in the area, I hope that they are deployed to respond to us attacking. I don't know what's going on here. The destroyers apparently don't know how to turn with the line. It's weird. Okay, this is a new ship. There we go. So now we've probably found the main line. It's going to give us um, a good reason to get this group up to squad max so that they can flee. Right now we're actually taking pod shots at the true day, but from this distance, this early in the war, we don't expect any kind of accuracy. Okay, and there are other battleships. Okay, well, it's calm, so the wind doesn't really matter, but it is always nice to maintain the wind advantage. And I do think we'll actually cut a little bit north so we can swoop south, and then finally southwest. Hopefully our lines will begin running together parallel southwest. Actually, they are already cutting west, so we need to head south to make that happen. We'll turn the Rosie back, get the Inherent Resolve to be our lead. Um, and a lot of flag signals. You would think that this, I'm sure that this is not part of the game mechanics, but you would figure this early in, before we've even really come into real contact with the enemy, that flag signals would be pretty hard to misinterpret. Stay in line. <laughs> I haven't done anything crazy here. I'm not telling anybody to do anything, you know, bold or absurd so we'll keep swinging east um, right now just because I want to make sure that we can run I want to run west with them east west it ha the line should run east west I mean it can run west east it doesn't really matter but the important thing is that the lines don't run in this exact direction so we can force it not to run in this exact direction by coming at them from that angle then when they break off as they're doing right now it, uh, it gives us, we know which direction, I mean, once they break off into a different direction, we know that the lines will form up parallel in an angle which is not this one. So that's what we want. And I probably think it's just about time, maybe. Okay, so good, we're establishing good lines here. I like this. Actually, they're so far ahead of us that we're, we're gonna have to 
wait out this first turn. And I don't know what we'll end up doing with the Rosie. She's, oh, whoops, Inherent Resolve. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Because they're, they're leading us right now, so we don't want that to happen. We just want to run parallel. Oh, well, Inherent Resolve actually did land one six inch shell before retreating. Yes, this little battlefield turnaround is what I was kind of fearing we would be drawn into. But if we head right at them again, that'll force them to make up their mind which way they're going to go. So we'll probably end up doing a change of course back southwest. Okay, destroyers. I don't really care as much about the destroyers getting things mixed up. Um, yes, so this is going to cause their line, it looks like, to run southwest, which is what I expected the whole time. We'll bring the Rosie in then. We don't need her in between our battleships and theirs. It's not a good place for her. Okay, so let's actually cut early so that we, we want to kind of start closing the gap now. But in a way that uh, doesn't strain our line of battle. And maybe now is a good time for me to start bringing these guys under AI control. I mean, taking them all off AI control. Is this the battleship? No, this is the dune. Yeah, yeah, this is the battleship. Okay, good. So the rabbit's joining us for the first time now as well. Okay, so very soon here we will be uh, in contact with the enemy and engaging. So this is our Rosie. Yeah, the Suffren's already firing at us. Uh, what are they? They might have 13 inch guns, so even though they're lower quality. No, if they're lower quality, we should have their range on them. So, it's a confusing situation. I'm not sure what's going on, how they're actually firing at us. However, we will go up to 18. We'll make our battle line speed 18, even though, oops, right now things are, well, you can see that <laughs> our lines are a little mangled. Uh, the Valiant's opening up with all four. Okay, so we are starting to open fire. And I don't, I think we'll just head in parallel course. Uh, it's not perfect, it's definitely not perfect that they are ahead of us, that's not good. That means more of their ships can fire at us, I think. But uh, we'll wait for our battle line to reassemble. It should happen pretty quickly. Okay, let's get you up to 19 now as well. Let's take you off the eye control. You're at 19 already. Good. So our battle line's gonna form up pretty quickly. That's good. Valiant, one more tick. We'll get you to go down to 18. All right. Now, I don't even care what they're doing. I just want to make sure I'm doing what I want to do correctly. Whoops. Up, not down. Okay, good. And the rabbit's gonna come in. Perfect. And you slid down to 18 already. You're actually right in position, basically. Okay. So now we just wait for stuff to happen. Uh, let me try to get everyone to the same course. Ugh, this is going to be really hard. <laughs> um, 238. 238, good. 240. 238. And you, I have to watch for a little bit. Um, are you up to 90? Yeah, good. I think you do need to be 243. That's fine. For a little bit, but then probably around about now is where I want you to be 248 as well. 238, I mean. Come on, there. Good, so our ships are all running in parallel now, um, except for the light cruisers and all that, but we can get them to do the same thing. You probably only need to be 235 is fine. Okay, good. So, bring the Rosie back in as well. Get her to angle herself a little bit closer. And here we go. So now we just wait for the battle to, okay. How can you misunderstand their signals? They're just stay in line. Ah, it's gonna ruin everything. Most unfortunate, like what signal would they possibly conceive of us using to tell them to chase after the AMCs? Well, something good may come of this actually. So what we'll have this group do is move up and we'll have the rabbit shift in behind them now since they've gone and messed up. Probably, yeah, it's fine. And nothing's happening because there's just, the shots are so distant, it's impossible to hit from this distance, I think. 
I don't even know if we're opening fire at this range, but I don't like, I would have preferred to actually fight. I think that their ships might actually intend to, okay, let's force the issue then. We're going to go ahead and give up any kind of wind advantage anyways, which doesn't, I mean, wind, we'll give up the wind advantage, but that didn't really matter anyway, so it's fine. And we'll just cut south. Whoops, let's not forget our escorts. This is why sometimes it is better to leave these guys on AI control, but you've already seen the kind of silliness that the destroyers are doing. I don't think it matters as much if the destroyers are doing it, but if the light cruisers are doing it, it might cause my ships to shift more, which is bad. Um, what I'm gonna do is basically send the Rosie and maybe one group. Okay, we'll just let Battlefield and, and Indomitable head that way, that's fine. Basically the battleships will protect Rosie. And... Uh, we'll just cut off the line. We'll easily be able to sh track down the other ships. And if they choose to, to actually fight us, then we'll try to reform our line. But we already have a good number here. Well, how many battleships do they even have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they have six. So if we leave, we'll leave six on the line, which we now have. Well, we actually have eight on the line. And the Rabbit and the Rosie will go after these AMCs, who are already kind of turning, but that's fine. We'll get one pass down the center before... Um, okay, again, how do you misunderstand the signals here? They're so simple. I understand if there's like a complicated maneuver going on, but it's pretty hard to misunderstand the signals here. If we haven't, with any luck, we can actually, man, again. With any luck, we can actually chase down this clever class as well. That'd be nice. In fact, we'll, let's just, we'll angle a little bit harder at it. These kind of things would be like lovely prizes. Okay, let's get you to go to AI control. I don't have the patience to deal with all of you guys. Okay, we have good vision, good range. Rabbit doesn't need to worry about that, so just cut back. Rosie's gonna be fine on all on her own, taking those down. Okay, we did land some clever class. We will keep pursuing that. Okay, more cruisers misunderstanding their signals. Another hit with the Kleber. Yeah, this is good. This is fantastic. Especially because, to be honest, the battleships of the French uh, bother us less than their armored cruisers do at this point. Now, Rosie, go after them. Go after them. Turn. Turn. Rosie. My God. Two minutes delayed. Not totally unexpected, but... Okay, so we'll come back and get these armored cruisers. Looks like we're, we are gonna sink this Kleber class. She's just been left high and dry. Which is a funny expression to use when there are ships in the water, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna get everyone to go to AI control since we don't really need to worry about the lines. Unfortunately, this, okay, we have to redo everything though because this one's probably, nope, they're doing that. Okay, good. Viper should be covering the Valiant. Let's go to the Valiant, Valiant. Okay, Rabbit. We'll go to the Pomano, Paneno, and Paneno will be good to the Viper, and she is. Good. Just, just so. Wait, stop. Ah, this is so stupid. Okay. What has happened? I don't know, but whatever. Okay, squad max. Actually, our squad max, we, we had to clean the grates, so we are already at squad max. We'll send Rosie off on her valiant mission to sink these. And yeah, we'll just keep pursuing this Cleaver class. The more we can more hits we can land, the better. Yeah, I'm gonna let them go all eye on AI control. I don't know I have no idea what's gonna happen, but the Rosie's gonna sink her ships, which is fantastic. Okay, Galia's dead. Surely. These are both dying and we are trying to catch up slowly which is good good that the ai control is working okay good i think this is okay you can just come back on your own now because your course is perfect the way it is okay and then we will just try to keep this club class try to we did land a lot of hits on it let's just take a look again how many hits we landed on this clever class it's been a while. Okay, so, but here, look at this. Six inches, 12 inches, six inches, 12 inches, six inches, 12 inches. 
uh, 12 inches here, another 12 inches. I mean, 12 inch shells are that two more. Yeah, that's a lot. That's like eight 12 inch shells. Really surprised this clever class is just darting away from us still. And what in God's name are you doing? Ah. It has more than one. The Valiant got reassigned. It doesn't have any. Okay, I'm just confused. Go to the Valiant. You should be with the Viper. You are. And you should be with the Paneno. No, go to the Paneno. Which I already did, but we'll do it again. Okay, good. It's not complaining. I think it worked. <laughs> All right, so we'll just keep chasing them. Now, this is the part which might be a little bit more boring, but oh well. We'll just keep running flat out until eventually we engage. <laughs> so we got close to the clever again. I don't know why she's actually choosing to like sacrifice herself or what's going on here. Yeah, now she's dead for sure. We're choosing not. To, we're choosing to kind of give up that fight because we have another fight we can take instead. Um, Says she's sinking. Let's put you onto AI control. I'll take you off AI control, I mean. By the way, why in God's name are you on line abreast? Like, I never even activated the torpedo mode. So many different, so many questions I have. Lots of signals misunderstood. Let's just get the rabbit down there, though. Maybe you can land a few more on the clever class, which is good. That's what I want. And since they've kind of split apart, we are actually catching up with them. This would be good. Can we get there? It looks like we're gonna get there. A few hits on the Suffren. Rabbit just about to go out of range, which means, okay, this was an interesting turn. Let's take a look. Swirling Hide takes three hits. None of them penetrated. Fantastic. Indomitable hits the Clever Glass with a 12 inch and two six inch. Okay, let's go one more. Okay, and one more more. Hit on the Suffren. Swirling Tide is now actually taking damage. Another 6 inch shell on the Clevin. We're going to keep pursuing. Obviously we want to. Suffering class is coming in so we will tilt onto the wind side. Keep pursuing the Clever, just in, just to make sure she's dead. Okay, and it looks like we're gonna get a battleship out of it as well, which is fantastic. Come on, land those hits. I just want to be assured of this ship sinking. And it looks like, although we must have been pursuing already for eight hours, it's been six hours actually. Six hours of just chasing them around. I hope that that's enough for the clever. Let's also just try to make sure we. Sink the Suffering class. Um, we're actually shooting one gun. That's weird. Like one turret, one um, muzzle is jammed or something. And we don't really want to be here when night falls. But we are going to definitely take advantage of this situation. And I'm also, I'm also going to engage the fleet uh, doing that torpedo run thing. Pretty dangerous to do, but I think we can get away with killing the Suffering in time. And then uh, if they come out of the woodwork from the, you know, if they come out of the low visibility area, we'll, we'll just respond by launching our, our destroyers, anything else at them. Okay. And our destroyers are already making the run. They're probably just intent on trying to sink our own ships with torpedoes, but that's okay. <laughs> They've been given the okay. This is, can you imagine being this ship right now? Like with just chaos. Okay, we lost the destroyer, but if it comes at the if it comes at the defeat or the sinking of a French battleship, it'll be a good. Plus, the crew is pretty close to shore, pretty cold water, of course. But we will we'll try do our best to look for them. And now we just pursue the the suffering class, which is really suffering. <laughs> oh boy, sorry. Wow, yeah, lots of hits, on fire, sinking, okay, good. So let's just run this at 
full speed. We're pretty sure this stuff is sinking already. Okay, the wavening is sunk. I saw some torpedoes being launched, which we now have to avoid. And let's just move over. Up, oh, see, Mingle was hit by a torpedo. Probably one of our own. <laughs> Cancel firing torpedoes. Which one, Mingle? Okay. You are part of this group. Okay, you actually have to go dead stop then, Squadron X. In hopes of preventing us from sinking. Please don't launch torpedoes, oh god. Okay, she's definitely a goner. Mingle, stop! Okay, we need to take her down to just one speed. This is possible, she could survive. And we're so close to port as well. Okay, so let's have, I don't want her to reattach, so let's go ahead and have the swirling tide slowly move away. Oh god, this this suffering just so many torpedoes. Alright, let's just continue slowly. Now go down to one. Alright, the slow march begins back to Cork. We don't know if the Mingle will make it. She is she's completely controlled her flooding. The Mingle has just served as the most unsinkable ship I've ever seen. <laughs> if you remember, the Mingle was hit by three or four torpedoes in one. No, oh god, she reattached. Oh god. Uh, that's not, that's really, that's really, really not good. Um, she was hit by three torpedoes, which were all duds. So it was really a phenomenal stroke of luck that we survived that one. And it's also phenomenal that she somehow has completely taken out her um, her flooding. Well, we will just head right back to port. Do not stop. Uh, do not whatever. Do not stop it. Go. Do not collect whatever. Just get out of here very, very slowly. And that is the way I suppose this battle will end. Um, I actually think we can't do ultra fast because the mingle is doing really silly oscillations and I think that that is worse and worse the the, wor the faster we go. Is mingle doing the oscillations? No, Valiant is. Okay, well that's good news. We'll go up to fast. And we did it! Okay, so we sank the battleship, we sank the armored cruiser, and I guess we didn't sink one of those two armored uh, armed merchant cruisers. Well, surprising. <laughs> uh, okay, well, a fantastic result nonetheless, obviously. And I think that that is going to be the Battle of Ireland. I like that. That's just fine. I was going to say the Mingle's continued success or, you know, some kind of note about that because it's that remarkable that that ship is still alive. All right, well, let's push on. Um, the French invasion of Guangzhou Wan has been defeated. Well, yeah, I mean, it was their attempt to keep fighting uh, after our invasion was successful, but that's okay. A couple of our battleships can need some repairs. That's just fine. I don't know. These armored cruisers are all weak. Okay, better fire control. Convoy attack. We can't avoid this. Well... What is what do we have here? Well, at least we're at least we have three light cruisers this time. Usually it's two against an armored cruiser. Maybe three. We have a better chance of uh, survival. Okay, there it is. Um, probably at least one of these is a light cruiser, but probably the other one is not. And this is a convoy raid. Oh, okay. Well, let's just charge on in. Okay, torpedoes, scary things to use, but if you only have one division, I, I suppose it's better to do it. Okay, sink that, it is sunk. Swing back around, this will be a very quick and huge defeat for the French. Make sure that none of their armed merchant cruisers get away this time. There it is. All right, 
Well, there are other ships around. We are detaching everyone to pick up survivors, the good folk that we are. And then I suppose we'll meander on somewhere, go down to cruise speed. Still picking up all the survivors. <laughs> Okay, we're all attached, and I guess this uh, will probably end before we actually get up to full speed, but we'll just make a lot, nice little patrol along the south of France, southern coast, and there it is. So I guess there were some minesweepers and some other stuff out there, but it's actually considered even a major victory. I don't know if I agree with that, but next again, the Asian national hero. And this money we have, oh, oh, okay. I will fight this. This will probably be our last little action of this uh, episode. I'm trying to get these episodes out a little faster. I'm definitely trying. It's it's on my mind to do so. If I do or do not, that's another story. But hopefully, trying to get them out a little bit faster. That's, for, that's at least the goal. So we'll just um, make them. I, in order to do that, I might need to make them a little bit shorter, like less than 30 minutes. I mean, less than 40 minutes. Okay, we definitely want to go squad max and chase this down. If it's an Alger class, it is 22 knots. We can maybe catch up though. Come on, put it into high, high speed. Okay, she's gonna make a run for where? What's her goal here? Because if we chase her into into Ireland, we win. <laughs> she's. <laughs> You won't have any place to go. I think we will have seen, okay, it's high bearings, we're down to 20, but supposedly the same thing is also happening to the French ship. Okay, yeah, like I said, if she keeps navigating, she's gonna navigate right into this. Maybe she doesn't know where she is. That would be an interesting game mode as well, if you didn't, what? The heck? Oh, I I must on my Discord. <laughs> ah, okay, good. That was uh, sufficiently scary enough. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But looks like we didn't miss anything in the meantime. Just need to make sure we. Did she escape after all that? Impossible. No. What? Oh! Well, that was frustrating. Scary and frustrating uh, termination of this event. Okay, well, that battle was kind of a bust. We should have should have gotten the kill, but we didn't. No. Okay, enemy submarines. So submarines are still somewhat effective, huh? Ah, the war dog in the Caribbean. Okay, well, you know what? We'll try to make time for one more. The War Dog has been uh, leaving all kinds of hilarious after action reports. I'm not really after action reports, but just updates. One of them, <laughs> uh, barbecue has gone a mess. <laughs> Something like that. It's very funny. Great comments in the comment section so far. Every series, it just gets better. So we'll see what we're up, to, up, up against here. If it's an armored cruiser we will retreat but let's take this okay appears to be it is and that's why I wanted to head south okay yeah definitely one we want to avoid so away we go right oh you know what these are f ports okay we can yeah this is actually great we can take her through some minefields if she pursues us all the way. So that's something to think about. And it looks like she is gonna pursue us. I think we also have, is this, what, what gun is this? Six inch, I don't think the six inch will actually sink her. But we will definitely try to drag her right through this. Ugh, okay, well there's more. There's more where that came from. Let me slow this down a little bit. And...
Yes, just like that. Ah, balls. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch more where that came from. We're going to take our hits, but with any luck. This will be the third one. Wow, we actually got some shots. Huh? Ah, my God. Okay, there's more. <laughs> Eventually, one of these is going to do the job, right? Huh. Really impressive that she was able to go through all those minefields without any damage. Okay, well, that's frustrating. <laughs> I have only... The first time I ever attempted to run an enemy ship through a minefield, it worked. But it has never worked since. So I actually have no idea how that whole thing works. I'm beginning to suspect it's harder than I, I thought. Okay, is this because we don't have enough people in the Caribbean? I think so. So we'll just, just have to wait one month for that to be fixed on its own. Um, I can actually send the Awakened down to the Caribbean as well. This will also help shore up our, um, give us a bit of a reserve over there. Okay, but 35 minutes. Uh, now what we'll do is I'll put this one on Foreign Station, then again move it to the Caribbean. And I'll call this video to a close here. So, a good uh, productive video. I thought we'd actually get through the end of this war in time to um, to build that dreadnought. However, unfortunately, well, kind of, I liked it actually. We had the nice fleet battle, which took up quite a long time. So, thanks for watching this, and you can stay tuned for, I'm going to say, the design of our dreadnought next episode. I'm still waiting for the end of the war. Uh, by the way, what's our... I don't, I haven't really been paying attention. We do have, okay, well, we, of course we have 13 inch guns. It's kind of a, not necessarily the best idea to build the dreadnought if only, if we only have 12 inch guns, but I will do it. I would just prefer some kind of improvement, either better 13 inch guns, even if they're quality negative one or quality zero 12 inch guns, something. It would be really nice if one of those things materialized. Unfortunately, we're already, um, really push a naval gun research and it hasn't I mean it hasn't been very long it's only we haven't even gone four years yet but there's been no results yet anyway so um so I'll bring you back next one and hopefully we'll finish this war we must be close and then on top of that hopefully we'll also get our dreadnought designed but until then thanks for watching and take care